Bank Lumi is now one of the biggest corporations in the Middle East, total assets of more than $90 billion. Despite the recent economic crisis, you still have a strong balance sheet. Absolutely. First, we need to bear in mind that Israel's economy as a whole was not badly affected by the global crisis as other countries have been. In fact, during 2008 to 2009, Israel's GDP rose by 5.4%, while average GDP for OECD members fell by 3.1%. Also, even though the government issued continuous statements, they would support the banking system and take preventative measures such as guaranteeing deposits, these were never found necessary. Now, more specifically to Bank Lumi, has at times been labeled too conservative or too risk adverse in its decision making and also perhaps its investment strategy. In hindsight, it is exactly this quality which has proved highly beneficial to banks and its customers. Lumi's capital adequacy, 15.1%, remains the highest in the Israeli banking system. These results reflect the group's continued growth and the improvement in its business performance which correlate to the bank's long-term strategy to be the most profitable bank in Israel over the long term, but never at the expense of the quality of our risk management nor the quality of the customer experience we deliver. So what's the focus of the bank's business across different divisions? The focus throughout the group has always been the individual customer and his, her unique set of needs, and it is this focus on continuously providing our customers with the highest level of service and a variety of products and solutions specifically tailored to their needs that lies behind the group's organizational structure and indeed its success. The group has four core business lines, each specializing in offering financial services to a particular market segment. The corporate division concentrates on servicing Israel's largest companies. The commercial division specializes in providing banking and financial services to middle market companies, which ensure a one-stop shop for all their customers' needs. The international and global private banking division focuses on business, commercial, and high net worth customers in Israel and worldwide and operates through dedicated centers in Israel and the group's subsidiaries and offices abroad. The retail banking division caters for the needs of individual customers and for small businesses. Following the changes in the Israeli capital markets, the bank also established the Capital Markets Division, which is responsible for coordinating trading room activities and Nostra activities with a view to improving and enhancing services offered to customers active in financial markets and streamlining Nostro activities. It is important to note that while these divisions are separate, they do not operate in isolation. Customers' needs sometimes lie with more than one division and it is due to their close cooperation that they are able to offer a seamless, comprehensive service to those customers. Bank Lumi has had a pivotal role in the development of banking in Israel, even printing the state of Israel's first banknotes. So it's come a long way since 1902. Absolutely. For over a century, Bank Lumi has been Israel's largest and most stable bank. Bank Lumi was originally established in London as the Anglo-Palestine Company. The APC started its activities with a modest capital of £50,000, and after opening its first branch in Jaffa in 1903, it moved on to open several other branches in Jerusalem, Haifa, Tiberias, and other towns. The bank was highly instrumental in the country's economic development and in fact financed most of the large national infrastructure projects such as Tel Aviv Jaffa Port and Tel Aviv's first suburb. Upon the establishment of the State of Israel, the APC changed its name to Bank Lumi. Lumi means national in Hebrew and actually served as the state's central bank until the Bank of Israel was established. The Lumi Group is ranked within the top 150 international banking groups by the banker, by Tier 1 Capital, has investment grade ratings from S&P, Fitch and Moody's, and has won several prestigious awards, 
one of which is, of course, Israel's best banking group by World Finance. So yes, I would say we've come a long way since 1902, and we feel very proud of our heritage. If we go back through the bank's history, being active in the community has always been important. What are your current initiatives here? Ever since the establishment, the group has viewed its involvement and contribution to society and community as an integral part of its corporate vision. We take corporate social responsibility very seriously. Each year, the bank donates millions of dollars to organizations promoting education, social welfare, health, science, culture, and the arts. For example, each month 500 employees visit the homes of Holocaust survivors, delivering food packages and medications. Every year for Passover, Lumi employees collect and distribute food parcels to allow less privileged families to celebrate the holiday. Over the past few, two years, Lumi UK staff have participated in a couple of three-day bike rides, London to Amsterdam and London to Brussels, which raised net of expenses, and Lumi UK paid for those expenses, over £75,000 for charity. The bank's subsidiaries and offices worldwide are also involved in community projects and charitable giving. Lumi UK supports a variety of charitable events, projects and campaigns. Larry Weiss, thank you very much. You're very welcome.